you probably hear a lot of different opinions. Do I need a website? And some people are going to tell you, absolutely not. You don't need one. And other people will say, yes, it's really something that you have to decide for your business. But I do have three good reasons why you might want to use a website. And one of them is that it gives you credibility. If people are looking for you, they can Google your, um, search your name in Google and your website will ap actually pop up. Now you can, create a home page. For instance, I use click funnels for my sales funnels and for my landing pages, but I don't have a home page there. And one of the reasons I don't use click funnels for my home page is because I want to eventually add blogging to my website. Now, as you can see right here, I don't have it yet. And that is one of the things I love about having a website is I can keep building it right now. It's simple. I've it's new. I'm not a, I haven't been around for 10 years or anything like that. And I can keep adding, different um, pages to my website as I build my business, as I expand, as I want to um, add things. For instance, like blogging. Many times, for instance, if you want to start using Pinterest and you're an affiliate marketer, you are not allowed to just take a link and go from Pinterest directly to the affiliate link. They typically want you to go to a website, especially with the advertising part of it. So it just, it just shows that you have more credibility and you're more legit as a business because most people are not going to put money out to have a website built or they're not going to take the time to build it unless they're really, really serious about their business. So it really says something about you as a professional if you take the time or the money to do that. And some, people like to build it themselves. Some people like to hire somebody and actually I have a link below. If you're looking to have somebody do it for you, I have a link below. Actually, it's the person that I hired to do mine and they're very affordable and you might want to check that out. So I want to put that plug in right now, but in case you don't stay till the end. Second, you might compare it to Facebook. A lot of people are using Facebook pages to organically grow their business and their prospects. The problem with Facebook is every time you post something, it doesn't always get out to all of your um, fans and they keep on changing the algorithms about how, what people will see, who will see it, who will find your page and things like that. If people know you, they can find you right away at your website. Um, you might be promoting yourself through other social media platforms, but every time it comes back to your website. So it's kind of like your storefront. Number three, this is one thing that I love about websites is you can create backlinks with other people that have businesses and websites as well. And you start to promote each other. So they're called backlinks. I'm not going to go into detail about how that works, but you kind of connect different businesses together and you kind of promote each other and it helps your search engine optimization go up. It helps you get more visitors to your site because you're connecting with other business owners, if that makes sense. It's almost like you have a business association on your, on your site, if that makes sense. All right. So I'm going to just show you two. Um, I just told you, you could have somebody build it for you. I gave you a link below if you would like to look at that person's pricing and all of that. Um, but let me show you too, if you personally want to do it yourself, you would have to go to Bluehost or GoDaddy as an example, where they have WordPress. Now, if you just go in there and start a site, let me show you, you're going to be able to build and it's going to look like this. Now stick around just for a minute. If you've gotten this far, wait till you see what I'm going to show you that'll make it easier. If I went into my home page that you just saw, and let's say I want to um, change it. Where's the home page down here? I'm just going to view it. Actually, I didn't want to do that. Let me go back. Let me go back. I actually want to go in and do an edit. Now watch what comes up when you're in WordPress. This looks overwhelming, doesn't it? To go in and have to edit this. It, it's going to have um, all kinds. Let me just go here. All right. That's what's going to pop up. <laughs> I was ready. All right. This is what's going to pop up. You can edit it by using the WordPress building. And when I look at this, I just want to say, I'm not doing it. There's no way. Um, and it can be overwhelming. But if you go to Elegant Themes and you purchase what, what is called Divi Builder, here it is, Divi Builder from Elegant Themes. Then you can go in, you plug it in. It's called a plug-in. You can buy it yearly or you can buy it for lifetime. I think it's $89 if you buy it for a year, $250 lifetime access. So if you're serious, that's a really good deal. So now let me go to home and now I'm going to view 
And I'm going to show you the difference in, in how you edit just by plugging that in. Now I go up here where it says enable visual builder. Now I can look at my page. I can see what's there. And then I can make changes based on what I see, if that makes sense. So Divi Builder, add it to your web press if you're planning on doing it yourself, is what will make it a lot easier. Like, look right here. If I want to change the wording, see how these boxes come around? And anytime you see a little gear, you can go in and change things. Now, you have to learn it, obviously, but Divi Builder is... Um, has made me realize that I can go in and revise things on my own. So while I had somebody set it up for me because it was such an affordable price, now I can go in and I can take what was given to me, that template, that, that basic setup, and now I can go in and add things. And I still have access to the person that built it for me, and well, that person will still help me. I can pay a monthly fee and always get that forever access and that help. Um, again, Everybody does it differently, but I just wanted to show you that it is something that you're capable of doing, especially if you have somebody come in and build the basics for you. Here's my like my resource page. Let me just show you a little bit more. Um, you know, and people can come and look at some of the resources that I have. Um, and definitely you always want to have a contact me tab so people can contact you if they have any questions. So that's the biggest thing I think on a website if people see you, um, have you ever watched a video of somebody or seen them on someplace, maybe on Instagram or something, you try to contact them and you don't really get an answer? Because think about it, if that person is on five different platforms, they're not sitting there watching all those. It's almost impossible. But on the website, typically, especially if somebody gets really big, they're going to maybe hire a virtual assistant to sit there and answer questions in the website. But this is the place that most people will find them and then they can send a question and an email through here. Actually, this is where I get most of my questions from here. Um, because people can find me easily and there's always that contact me page. All right, if you have any questions, just put them down below. Give me a thumbs up. Hopefully that was helpful, but I will have that link for you. Uh, the links below, check those out and decide, is this for you? Is it something that you want for your business? I personally highly recommend it. Um, I was leaning towards, um, like I said, in the beginning, I kept on hearing people say, you don't need one, you know, use a homepage and click funnels. And there's not a lot that you can do in there. It's more just a page to tell who you are. And, and if that's all you need, that's great. But I like the concept of the fact that I can keep building on this and I can add things and um, membership sites can go on here. Your blogging can go on here. And even though that all sounds overwhelming at first, but remember, you're going to build the foundation and keep building from there like everybody else has in their larger businesses. And from here, you can do that. Um, so you don't have to change platforms, if that makes sense. All right. I'll see you on the next video and have a good one.